Hula Vinaka, everybody. This is Dave here at Vinaka Urban Farm. And it's June 16th of 2020. And I thought it was about time for another farm tour video. So that's what we're going to do today. I have already shot another version of this video, but it is way too long because I love my farm and I love talking about everything and I get caught up in the moment. And maybe I'll put a multiple version, sort of extended version of this tour up later, but for now I'll just keep it short for in respect for people that don't have all day and may not be interested in all the little details of the farm. All right, so we're starting out in the greenhouse. Uh, what we have here is a basil wall, vertically grown basil, faces south. I've already harvested from this a couple times. Um, but yeah, it's really thriving. Uh, I'm really pleased with the way the vert vertical wall is growing, uh, growing basil this year. So one of those experiments that's working out. Part of the greenhouse is for our pleasure. It's called the Hanging Gardens. It smells beautiful. Uh, we grow a lot of flowers in here. We also keep some citrus trees in the greenhouse in the summer and take them inside in the winter, uh, in the fall, <laughs> basically everything but the summer. Uh, on the left there is a kumquat. The right is an orange. These are dwarf varieties of these trees. And that right there is a Meyer lemon. All alive, this is our third year having those, so the strategy seems to be working out. And we hope to get some uh, good fruits sometime soon. Another another reason for this greenhouse is to give our my plant babies for the for the farm a good start to life. So here we can see some beet greens, some chard greens, and some lettuce, all enjoying the protected environment from the harsh, harsh world here in the greenhouse. So that's what we got going on in the greenhouse. Let's step outside. You can see on the front of the greenhouse, we've got another wall. This has different varieties of basil that I'm testing out. Uh, again, those are mostly doing pretty well. Got our raised beds for the family with, for the family, me and Jackie and the cats. Uh, with, I'm starting to talk, talk like all the farmers that, uh, whose videos I watch on YouTube. Um, raised bed with some mixed stuff, mostly leafy greens, uh, central trellis, of uh, some snow peas that are just about done. Some turnips, radishes, and greens, sorrel in this raised bed. And another raised bed of strawberries, exclusively strawberries, because strawberries are really important. They get their own bed. Um, look at that little little guy here, almost 100% right. Strawberries are doing super well in this raised bed. Just chuffed about that. Um, here we have some intercropped uh, tomatoes. Tomatoes that we grow them vertically. Maybe I'll do another video on that. I tie them to these stakes are cropped with this tomato on the left side or some kale. We'll get one more harvest out of these, this kale and I'll replace it with something else because it's getting big. And then there's some arugula. Over here, some snow peas. I've gotten a lot of harvest, a couple weeks of harvest out of these snow peas. I'll get one more, I think, and then just cut those out and replant them. But I'm pleased with how they've gone, uh, how the snow peas have done this year. Uh, on the patio, we have a lot of stuff grown in containers. Um, one hardy kiwi is living, but the other hardy kiwi got um, the one-two punch this year. We got a 70 degree weather in February and then some deep freezes, and it just seems to have destroyed the plant. So that's sad news, but can't all live and can't all be a success. Uh, one thing that is a success, though, right next to the kiwi is this hardy, um, Chicago hardy fig tree. Got some nice fig growth going on here. Some more flowers. We love this patio area. It's a little bit Mediterranean-esque for various reasons. We've got our first ever grapes starting to grow here on this grapevine, growing up the pergola. We've got, uh, this is another fig tree. Looks quite a bit different though, huh? It's called a white Marseille fig, but it's got little growth. It's a little bit behind the Chicago hardy fig. But both doing well this year. I've really learned how to, to prune figs properly this year. It's an exciting little thing to learn. Mo continuing with the Mediterranean theme, we've got an, an olive. It's called an Arbicina olive tree. It's the hardiest olive that I could find. Uh, we put it in the greenhouse over winter, but it does just fine out here in the spring, fall, and summer. So that's the patio area. Back in this corner, we've got blackberries, 
little garden of mostly peppermint. Look at all this peppermint here. Look at that. That was started off as one tiny little peppermint plant. And it has taken over that part of the circle garden, as we call it. But the rest is just planted to flowers. Um, yeah, because we want our, our place to be beautiful. All right, so that's uh, the greenhouse and our kind of personal part of the backyard, our aesthetic and, you know, various experimental fun part of the backyard. Uh, the other part is fun, uh, and I've shown you part of it, but it's also what I call the farm, and it's where I grow most of the stuff that I sell at market, or a lot of the stuff that I sell at farmer's market and online, and which you can buy from me if you want to. Um, this is the farm. So I already showed you some of the tomatoes and snow peas there. This is a few varieties of kales and some nice layers. In the front is red Russian kale, full leaf. Middle is a kale called that Johnny Seeds calls KX1. It's really beautiful as well. Another line of white Russian kale and then some more red Russian kale at baby stage here. This right here is called a hugel culture, a big dirt pile which we grow a bunch of stuff on. It's got some uh, tree trunks buried in it for reasons that aren't going to become clear anytime soon. Uh, and we grow a lot of potatoes. We only planted about a third of these potatoes this year. The rest surprised us because we apparently didn't dig out all the potatoes last year and they grew into more potatoes this year. Uh, but lots of potatoes. Most of what you see is potatoes. This stuff, however, is okra. It's just starting to form little okras. Uh, let's see if we can focus on that. Yeah, those little guys in there are going to be the first okras. It's a red variety, so it should be interesting to see how that turns out. We also have some carrots growing on this pile, so that's pretty exciting. That's the hugel culture. Uh, moving on to the rest of the farm here. This is the reverse angle of those rows of tomatoes that I showed you before, interplanted with various stuff. Here is some sugar snap peas. They're just starting to get close to the stage where you can harvest them. Right. Uh, our other line of sugar snap peas is ready to harvest. That's a couple rows down. This right here, this monster, is a Cascade hop plant. Uh, I brew some beer, so it's nice to have those hops to be able to brew. Apricots, peaches, and all the way at the end over here are two Asian plum or <laughs> Asian pear trees. In front of them are some blueberry plants. They're surviving, although I wouldn't call them thriving. We are getting some blueberries off of them. Here are some bull's blood beet leaves, some other le beet leaves, and some Swiss chard. And finally at the end are beets that are not grown for the leaves, but rather for the root. Here's a couple more lines of uh, sugar snap peas on the right, and this is snow peas. I've gotten a lot of harvests of snow peas off of this, but it looks like it's just stopping producing soon. Here's one snow pea. So I'll get one more harvest out of this, and then I'll cut it out and figure out what else to do with that row. Some more, more mature sugar snaps here. Some tomatoes interplanted with lettuce, right? Our tomatoes, by the way, are in fact starting to produce. This is a cherry tomato right here, but the rest of this row is um, some grape tomato varieties like Juliet. Uh, those are the varieties that I grow on the farm. The last row over here are radishes. A few rows of radishes, so exciting to see those coming up. Yet more strawberries are coming up over here, in addition to <laughs> some raspberries and a pokeweed. Some giant pokeweed. I need to get back there and risk the ticks and <laughs> just weed all that stuff because I don't want it to go to seed on my farm. Pokeweed and thistle are the absolute worst um, weed pests on our farm. Uh, there's also some raspberries here. And that's about it for the front farming area except for this massive horseradish plant.